on today's episode, we're going to get into a very, very important um, topic on your spiritual journey. And I know I say that all the time, but some are very, very, very important. And this is definitely one of them. So before we get into that, let's do the YouTube stuff. Subscribe. I'm watching. Make sure you like the video if you like the video. And also share me. Share me with your family, your friends. Um, just share me with a lot of like-minded individuals like ourselves so that we can put the word out there that guess what? This spiritual thing is not what people are trying to make us think it is, okay? So without further ado, this video will be short and sweet and I really hope it's very impactful at the same time. Um, getting right into it, let's go ahead and talk about our ancestors and why they are so important. Our ancestors are the foundation upon which we stand. We are our ancestors. When we look into our eyes, we are staring back at our ancestors. We come from a DNA that is so strong from lines and lines and lines and lines down. We're talking hundreds of years um, worth of people who walked before us and they deserve respect. They also hold the keys to a lot of things that we could be going through in this lifetime, such as body ailments, um, you know, like sicknesses and diseases, and um, also family curses and our relationship as it pertains to manifestation in the, in the realm of getting money and owning property and things like that. Our ancestors control all that, okay? Um, because they were here before us and they know what it, it took to get certain things you know what i'm saying so when i say honoring your ancestors it's not about raising the dead it's not about bringing back people who did harm to you they can't touch you in this lifetime they cannot you're not going to be able to summon somebody that has hurt you in the past um, without realizing where that hurt comes from okay just because that you might have had a crazy uncle or a father or auntie they may have done some crazy things back in the past you have to also remember by giving grace, baby, that that pain came from somewhere and that pain came from somewhere else. And the only way you can do that is by channeling your ancestors' energy um, by way of ancestor veneration. I actually did a video when I first started this channel about the importance of burning ancestor money. So if you haven't checked that video out, please do. But in that video, that's part of the ancestor veneration. You're bringing honor to them by, you know, giving them things that they probably liked in their lifetime in order to ask them certain questions like, okay, why do we have a history of, um, you know, sexual abuse? Why do we have a history of alcoholism? Why do we have a history of the men never staying in the household and they're always leaving? Why do we have a history of um, our mothers never being mothers to their children? Why do we have a history of um, the women having to work so hard while the men um, sleep around and make other families? It could be so deep, okay? And I'm not even trying to like call out crazy things, but when, you, and when you're doing ancestor veneration, um, these things will be revealed to you via dreams, um, they'll send you signs. Um, they are constantly always talking to you and they actually need you like you need them in order for you to be the one, the one to break certain generational curses. And the way you do that is to go back in time and see what it is that was going on back then so you can create the life that you need to live to change your ancestors, your DNA, literally change your DNA for the generations to come so that your children won't see the hurt and struggles and pain. You know what I mean? They would never know these things because you were able to counteract that and then you teach them to counteract that. And then they'll teach theirs and it'll continue to go on and on and on. Ancestor veneration is super important. Um, they can also, your ancestors can also help you with mundane things that you might need. Protection from your enemies, they offer you that to get approved for a job, a car, a house. They help you with these things. 
Um, keep in mind that your ancestors also can only really help you with things that they were able to achieve in their lifetime. Anything beyond that, they, they need you to be able to do that. So you can bring forth more of your, you can add on to the family line of things that were accomplished. You see what I'm saying? Um, so don't fault them for the things that they couldn't do. You know, you praise them and you thank them for the things that they did accomplish even if it was super small because now you have that power the knowledge now to be able to continue on your life journey your spiritual journey and create um the life that you're you are meant to have in this lifetime some of us wasn't meant to have such a great life because you have to go back and 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 help out so many generations past hurts um, I can speak to that because that's actually in my birth chart and I'm okay with that. The more and more I became okay with being my family's ambassador, so to speak, it made my life just changed. Okay. I realized that I probably was put here to uh, carry out the mission of breaking generation, no curses as it pertains to um, how I mother my children, how I choose to have a man in the house when raising my children, how I, um, also have beat addictions and um also a lot of body things like you know making sure i'm watching what it is i eat so that i can change my family's dna of having um hereditary high blood pressure diabetes and things like that your ancestors hold the key to all of these things and they deserve to be um i'm not gonna say praise but basically recognized you know, you go through everybody in your family, on your dad's side, on your mom's side, then you take all of your mom's mother and father, their people who have passed on, plus your dad's side, then his mother and his father and all their people who have passed on, and you try to get as many names as possible. Um, you get you a bonsai tree and you hang the names of these people from the bonsai tree. It's like a little tiny plant, but the bonsai tree represents the root, and the root is the foundation upon which you stand, baby. The root is your ancestors. So um, I've made maybe a video about talking about your ancestors, but not as in depth, but today I've been feeling the spirit that I really need to get the message out there because it, you need to be able to do this, it's okay. Um, you'll come across things that you didn't even, you probably forgot or didn't know about and your ancestors will reveal that to you. And um, you just take that with stride and just know that you are meant to be your family's ambassador. If you're even interested in any of this stuff, you're meant to be the one to help break curses. And it's not as scary as you think. Somebody gotta fucking do it. Didn't mean to cuss. That's not what... I see how I'm working on that, but I'm just saying you were the one that was meant to do this thing. So carry on the mission, baby, and do it strong. Make sure you offer your ancestors um, gifts when you're when you're coming to them because they can help you. And if they're helping you, you should be giving them something, giving them energy, um, as we talked about in another video. Make sure you're giving them energy um, by way of giving them their favorite food their favorite drink, probably. Um, make sure you're giving them clean water every day, giving them a fresh um, white candle um, and burning ancestor money. So we part ways here. Um, I can also talk more in depth about this whole ancestor thing, but I really wanted to get the word out today about why it is so important. And then maybe we'll do a little tutorial about how you can like really do this thing every day. Um, it's not a day goes by that I don't do this for mine, but there is some times that I don't have time so I'm because nobody's freaking perfect, right? But um, I just want to leave you with that. We close here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And make sure that you hit subscribe, baby, because I'm throwing out, I'm hitting you with the videos every day, okay? All day, every day. And thank you again, okay? We'll see each other next time. Mwah!